Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast on the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia, the sons of Western Armenia. We hope that the peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan will be signed as soon as possible. CSCO Secretary General. It is necessary to immediately identify the aggressor and the attacker. Anne Lawrence Petal on shooting an ambulance. Speaker of Artsakh National Assembly proposes to the president to create a State Defense Committee, 10 of ancient languages. Russian periodical also wrote about Armenian. Komitas was also an expert of oriental music, but he had nothing to do with Muhammad. He did not cleanse it. He did not delete it. Western Armenia TV discussed the term cultural genocide as part of the series on the questions of Armenian or Western Armenia. The term cultural genocide was defined by Raphael Lemkin at the same time as the definition of the word genocide and according to his original definition, the systematic and intentional destruction of a group was an integral part of the crime of genocide. However, over the years, the term has undergone changes by various genocide scholars, deviating from its original definition. The individual approaches and disagreements among terrorists regarding the term cultural genocide are largely due to the lack of a clear definition of the term from the perspective of international law. It is obvious that the destruction of cultural values is hardly comparable to the physical destruction of people or the extermination of an entire group, but the example of the genocide committed against the Armenians in particular proves that they are two sides of the same thing, crimes which are interconnected and as a rule do not not manifest themselves separately. Samuel Totten, professor of sociology at the University of Arkansas, rightly calls the policy against Armenian cultural monuments a genocidal act. In particular, he writes that the goal of the Turks was not only to kill all Armenians, but also to erase the least trace of their former existence. To achieve this, the Turks resorted to various methods burning and destroying all Armenian churches and cultural monuments. Using the example of the genocide against Armenians, it can be argued that the ultimate goal of the perpetrators is the destruction of the targeted groups which in addition to physical destruction includes many other components including cultural to separate or distinguish even one of these components from the same crime and to try to describe it in another terms will be to distort and soften the crime of genocide the genocide committed against the armenians is a classic example where the perpetrators in addition to the physical extermination of the armenians constantly proceeded to the system systematic destruction of the Armenian culture, language, and history. The above policy continued during the subsequent Turkish regimes, completing the cleansing of the Armenians and all traces and memories connected with them from their historical territories. In April 1975, a civil war broke out in Lebanon. Lebanese Armenians had to defend themselves to protect the Armenian neighborhood of Beirut from attacks by various military groups. The leaders of the traditional parties from the very first day of the outbreak of the war in 1975 were safely hidden. In terms of daily life and self-defense issues, Armenians were defenseless and unarmed. In such a situation, Asala members and supporters of the various parties had no choice but to take their own defense into their own hands by carrying out the instructions of the Asala leadership, managing the fate of battle on the spot. Five freedom fighters, including Harutyun Hacheryan, were martyred in the self-defense battles in Lebanon in September 1979. CSCO Secretary General Imangali Tasmangabedov noted that there are regular negotiations on the situation in the South Caucasus. It was noted with satisfaction that Azerbaijan and Armenia practically recognized the borders between the two countries in accordance with the Almaty Declaration of 1991, the CSTO Secretary General said. This agreement on the creation of the CIC stipulates that the borders between the new states will be modeled on the administrative borders of the former federal Republics of the USSR. We hope that these negotiations will lead to the signing of a peace treaty and that the countries will later begin the process of demarcation, he added. The government of Western Armenia has repeatedly declared Artsakh to be part of Western Armenia, and already in 1991, according to the results of the referendum in accordance with all international rights, it became independent and joined Eastern Armenia, which was also part of Western Armenia until the declaration of Almaty and creation of the CIC in 1991. 
one. As a reminder, it should be noted that the Almaty Agreement cannot be used as a basis for the state that became independent from the USSR according to the law. There is already a peace treaty, the Treaty of Sever, with its Article 92, which refers to Azerbaijan and which has already been signed by all parties. On her Twitter microblog, French MP Anne Lawrence Petal posted photos of an ambulance that was shot by Azerbaijanian forces on its way to Sotk. Azerbaijan violated international law by shooting an ambulance that was on its way to the hospital. Today, Azerbaijan is behaving like a state in exile. The aggressor must be identified immediately, he wrote according to Infoport. Chairman of the National Assembly of Artsakh, Artur Tomasyan, made a statement today at the parliamentary session. I want to appeal to the President of the Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutsunyan. Mr. President, I have never interfered in your affairs, neither have you in the National Assembly. I have proposed a model, which is this. I have not proposed an amorphous body, but the body that saved us in the 90s, which is the State Defense Committee. I suggested to the President of the country to include two people in this composition. Ruben Vartanian and Samuel Babayan. I do not know their opinion. It is very possible that they will refuse, said Tomasian. Why do not ask questions, Mr. President? If this model did not work now, I can hurt someone for the first time. Submit your resignation, Mr. President, or put your vote of confidence. If the people do not believe that you have been elected, you will leave, said the Speaker of the Artsakh National Assembly. The government of Western Armenia welcomes the will of the people of Artsakh to have a state defense committee which will be able to take in ahead the problems of the state and security of the people of Artsakh and give them the right solution. Taking into account the fact that in 1920 Artsakh was part of Western Armenia recognized by more than 20 states thanks to the efforts of Bogos Nubar, for which President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian, the government and more than 40 million Armenians of Western and Eastern Armenia are equally responsible. In 2023 marks the 55th anniversary of the founding of the Sardarabad Heroic Battle Memorial Complex, the 45th anniversary of the founding of the National Museum of Armenian Ethnography and History of the Liberation Struggle, and the 105th anniversary of the May 1918 Heroic Battles, in connection with which a number of interesting events are planned. According to Armen Press, at a meeting with journalists on May 18, the director of the Sardarabad Heroic Battle Memorial, National Museum of Armenian ethnography and history of liberation struggle, Karen Pavlevian said that a series of events are planned for the current year, some of which will take place during the first four months of life. The temporary exhibition Armenian Costume in European Prints was opened today. In the exhibition, we try to present what Armenian women and men were through the eyes of European from the 17th to 20th century, said Pahlevanian. According to him, one of the expected events is the Tiranakakh plant and the Sardarabad Heroic Battle Memorial Complex in which they will talk about the importance of harvesting, apricots, etc. for the Armenians. A large participation is expected at the Apricot Appeal event organized with the financial support of the Ministry of Education and Culture of the Republic of Armenia, which will be an opportunity to popularize the Armenian Duduk. According to the director, the exhibition of 1,200 silver and gold belts will also be interesting. A catalog about the Armenian dragon carpets will be published. The album Sardarabad Memorial 55 and the Armenian Ethnography Museum 45 will be published during the events The Cultural Wealth of Western Armenia, Armenian Costumes, which best symbolize the cultural uniqueness and fine arts of different regions of Western Armenia, Mush, Marash, Vasburakan will be exhibited. Dear friends, taking into account the wide public reaction of unprofessional and unrealistic thoughts expressed in recent days regarding the activity and legacy of the Vartapet Komitas, the Komitas Museum Institute would like to once again address certain episodes related to the activity and legacy of the Vartapet Komitas, which have recently become the subject of unnecessary discussion. Komitas is one of the key figures of the Armenian people's independence system. He was also an expert of Oriental music, but he had nothing to do with Muhammad. He did not purify it. He did not purify it. He did not delete it. Komitas never had a goal of adapting to the European audience, but he gave the European audience an unfailing love for Armenian music itself. Moreover, quarter notes were not inaccessible to Europeans so that any kind of music could be dictated to them in that way. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Nani
पोर 